Yodelayihu, it's Daniel Kramer for Trailers from Hell, and I have something for everyone. Well, maybe not quite everyone. I at least have something for the cinephiles and film nerds out there. But let's talk about a body, saucy, very gay film that Angela Lansbury made just a year before she did a Disney with Ben Knobs and Broomsticks, which I grew up with. This was eight years after her Oscar-nominated role in The Manchurian Candidate, and you may forget the range that she had if you're used to her genteel murder-she-wrote character. The film is Harold Prince's Something for Everyone, which co-stars Michael York just two years before returning to Germany to make uh, Cabaret with Bob Fosse. This is a delicious, very black comedy that I just learned earned a short-lived X rating back in 1970. So climb every mountain, and roll that trailer. As far as I knew, this was always an R-rated picture, but it appears it scored an X likely early on. Something similar happened with The Magic Garden of Stanley Sweetheart. Early ads for that one carried an X certificate, but with four minutes of cuts, it secured an R. Whether there was any such cutting on something for everyone at the censor's behest, I couldn't tell you, there's not much of a record, but I will say that the passionate gay kiss between Michael York and Anthony Higgins, billed here as Anthony Corlin, must have really had the censor's jaws on the floor in dumbfounded disgust. This was 1970, after all. But that kiss is hot, and the overall film drips with homoeroticism and a commendable sex positivity. The director here is Broadway icon Harold Prince, or Hal Prince as he was known, one of only two movies he ever directed, the other being A Little Night Music in 1977 with Liz Taylor and Diana Rigg. He likely took this movie's title from the funny thing happened on the way to the forum lyric in the song Comedy Tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. That was also a Prince production. This trailer along with the posters and promotionals builds something for everyone as the basic black comedy. It's actually kind of an English language take on Pier Paolo Pasolini's Teorema, which was released a couple years before in that both follow the exploits of a bewitching young man who seduces each member of a well-to-do family and rather takes over the household. In this case, I find Prince's movie superior and funnier. The Cabaret connection is very important to mention here. Prince produced and directed Cabaret when it premiered on Broadway in 1966, so the fact that composer John Kander provides this movie's score, and the fact that we have Michael York in Bavaria at his most pretty and in sexually amorphous form makes this feel like a dress rehearsal for the 1972 Fosse film in some ways. But Something for Everyone is also its own movie, and a hell of a great time. Lansbury's having a blast, and though some might label this performance campy, there's actually more than meets the eye here. It's carefully calibrated while still chewing scenery, and... That's entertainment, folks. I want to call your attention to Lansbury's delivery of this particular line. This is a hoot. One hopes you are not overextending yourself. <laughs> oh, silly old bitch. Talk about rewindable. I would call that tipsy imperious. Only Betty Davis could have gotten within range of that delivery. I've loved this movie from my teen years when I was still a closeted young man. This is a very queer movie and its attitudes are strangely progressive, even though the characters aren't exactly people you root for. These are deceitful and devious folk, especially the Michael York character. Anyway, if you're looking for the perfect black comedy, Something for Everyone is Something for You.